Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am going to be doing a video on Halloween costumes. So this year I decided that I, there was just no time, I did not have enough time on my hands to do Halloween costumes. Which, you know, as a sewer, I feel really bad not being able to make my kids costumes because, you know, the ability is there, but this year it just wasn't in the cards, there's just too much stuff going on. And you know, once in a while it's okay. It's okay to take a little shortcut. So I went over to Valley Village and I actually got my son this one, this is the Bumblebee version, Bumblebee costume. And then I got my daughters over at Costco. This is the Wonder Woman this year. Now, of course, you can't just buy things and then them fit your kids because that would just be a perfect world. So in this video, it is all about how to alter your kids' costumes so that they will fit them. And in this situation with my sons, this was actually one size larger than him. So I'm going to show you how to alter the costume so that it can be picked out and then brought back to its original size. So my son's a size five. So I did some things to this to make it fit him. And then if I wanted to, or if he, you know, wanted to wear it, um, you know, next year, or you know, kids like to just wear costumes and play in the house. I can pick out those stitches and then it'll go right back to the size six. And then for my daughters, there just wasn't, wasn't fitting good. So I'm going to show you in the next clip of my son putting on his costume. So as you can see, as my son puts it on, you'll see that um, the arms and the legs are too long because they are, of course, not his size. So we do end up hemming them. And then in the back, because his bum is in a different spot because he's five and not six, I actually will raise up the bum portion so that it's not sagging and then the little print is in the right spot. I'm gonna show you after all the things that I did to this costume to make it fit Jack better. Now I'll move on to the next costume, which is the Wonder Woman costume, and this was brand new, this was from Costco. And so here it is, it has a tutu, and then it has a cape on the back of it, and the cape actually get attaches on the shoulders, or it can come off and it can attach around the hips. So it can turn into like a little skirt over top of the tool. And the, the, the skirt itself is kind of heavy. So when I was thinking about this one, I was thinking, you know, the Velcro is two little pieces of square Velcro. It's, just, it's not going to hold. You know, I can already see her, you know, losing the, the cape while she's walking through the neighborhood. Um, and it, it's it's heavy like I don't really understand that but it's bigger because I mean it'll go it'll go around her waist but so I'll just pretend there's a child in there so but in the back um, I'm gonna show you now my daughter trying it on um, as you can see the back of it has a lot of excess fabric so I ended up putting in a little piece of elastic to cinch that up for her so I'm not taking away any fabric. I'm just adding a little bit of ruching so that, you know, she can still get in her costume, but it will not have all this bunched up fabric. At the top, you know, it was a little bit low on her neckline. So I just pinched the top and made it a little bit shorter. And then with those little pieces of Velcro for the cape, I chose to put plastic snaps and I'll show you how I did that. So now there's no more Velcro on this at all and the Velcro actually was horrible because the Velcro was catching on the fabric and then kind of creating all these little pieces of thread. So it was just ruining the fabric. So I took out all the Velcro, added the snaps, ruched the back and now it will fit her so much better. So I'm gonna show you next how I do all those little tips and tricks and little secret things that are gonna be underneath all the fabric you won't see from the outside. 
So let's get into that portion of the video. Okay, so for the first thing we're going to do is work on the back of my son's costume. So for his, like I said, it is larger size. So I'm going to be bringing up the bum area that will prevent sagging in the crotch area also. So I brought it up about two inches and I'm just gonna line up the top of the pattern with the gusset. So I just made it so that the you know center seam is lined up with the center seam of you know the opening of the costume. I'm gonna sew it from the center to out. So I'll start at the center, I'll sew to the one side of the hip, and then I turn back to the center and then sew towards the other side of the hip. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to be pulling on the gusset and that's just going to allow for um, the part that we're sewing to line up with the fabric correctly and then it also will, you know, just make that kind of go into the gusset also and then it'll just be less visible. So I'm just doing a top stitch. If you want to do it in a larger stitch length so that you can easily pick it out later on, um, you could do a three or a four. And I'm just going to go as far as I can go. I'm not going to go all the way to the end of the hip just because it's not very visible. You know, it's a busy pattern, so you're not going to see it as much. But if you want to, you can go right to the side seam. And then I went back to the center and I'm doing the other side, pulling on that gusset to make the fabric nice and flat. And then that's all that I did for the back of the bum. And now it is perfectly in place. It looks so awesome. So next I'm just going to hem the sleeves and the um, pant legs. With these types of costumes, they always just surge the edges. They don't look very cute. So even if you wanted to just hem those areas, even if your costume fits, it'll help with the longevity of the costumes, especially if your kids love to dress up in costumes and play around the house. Um, after a while, those little surged edges, um, the thread starts to break, and then as you can see, there was just threads hanging there, and it just, you know, starts to look ratty over time. So I did fold it up a good amount because my son is still little and wasn't the correct size. So, but I again will be using a larger stitch length so that I could pick it out later on or if I wanted to sell the costume or give it away to a friend. You know, it's very easy to undo all of these little alterations. With the pant legs, again, I will have to hem those quite a bit to fit my son. So I folded those up probably three or four inches. If you wanna fold it in on itself, you can do that. I just left it like this and then just made a really big hem. So like an inch and a half to two inches. And then just sew right around there. And this is how I like to do my pant legs. I'll take the arm off the machine and then slip the, um, the inside out pant leg over the arm and then do it that way. And then with the sleeve, because it's too small, it won't fit around my arm of my machine. So I would do it with the fabric right side out and then sew on the inside. So hopefully you got that in the last clip. So that's all I did with my son's costume and now it fits him perfectly. And now we're gonna work on my daughter's costume. So I am going to be bringing up the, um, the straps on the shoulders because it was hanging a little low. And there are some little pieces of Velcro there, but I'm just going to cover those up and I'm gonna sew right across, see how I'm folding it over. And then that will just be a place where I can do top stitch right over top and try to line up the edging as best as I can. So it's less visible. It will be visible, of course, but because it's a costume, you know, it's no big deal. Doesn't matter. And I can unpick it if she grows, wants to wear it again, or if I choose to sell it later on. So again, I'm just gonna do a top stitch. I am using a matching thread just so it is less visible. And I'll use a larger stitch length just so that all that stuff is easy to take apart. And I did that for the other sleeve and I think it actually looks pretty good. Like it's pretty non-noticeable, if that's a word. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, so now we're gonna work on the back of her outfit. So of course, um, the reason why there is so much excess fabric is because um, the skirt is so ruched in the back. So 
you know, it's meant to be like that. Of course, nobody's back is that big. <laughs> but if you want to do this little industry secret, I mean, you can even find this in everyday garments, maybe in your closet. But um, just to add a little bit of contour to an outfit or to, you know, cinch it up and make it look more fitted, they'll just take a piece of elastic and then place it wherever you want to, you know, gather that fabric. I'll do a zigzag stitch, so I just do some back stitching here, and then I pull on this elastic, and then I just sew along the area that I want to create my gusset. So I'm just going to, sometimes you have to help it through your machine just because you're pulling on your elastic so hard. Try to keep your elastic centered. It's not gonna be perfect, um, but you know, just do the best you can. If you want to use a bigger piece of elastic and then just sew along it and then snip it when you're done, you can do that. I use like a five or six inch piece of elastic here. And then once you stretch it, then you, you know, you cover a good area of the lower back. And then just back stitch at the end. See, it doesn't look very nice, but this is on the inside. And I also did that um, red stitching so that you don't see that gusset. But this is how it looks when you turn the costume right side out. Um, it's not very noticeable, but it definitely makes a big difference on the front of the costume, which is, you know, the main focus of the costume. And plus she'll have that cape on the back over her shoulders most likely. So you really won't notice that, but it'll look nice and, you know, fitted from the front. So here are the little Velcro pieces that I was telling you about. They are absolutely horrible. They are quite rough, like they're pretty strong Velcro, but um, they're just ruining the costume because they do, they catch on the silk and then it starts to create little pills and little threads and stuff. So I'm just gonna take those off completely and I'm gonna add some plastic snaps. So if you've never worked with plastic snaps before, I do have a plastic snaps tutorial or all about plastic snaps um, in the information icon. So I'll leave that tutorial or video up there for you guys. Um, if you don't want to use plastic snaps, you can use sew-in snaps. Those are super easy um, or hooks or whatever you want to do. But I would definitely recommend staying away from Velcro in something like this, especially in a cape, because even my son has a cape shirt and it's on with Velcro and it falls off all the time. And I always have to hear, mommy, can you put my cape back on? Mommy, can you put my cape back on? It's so frustrating. So I should really put snaps on that too. I don't know, as I'm talking about it right now, that's what I should do. But anyways, so I'm just gonna place those snaps in those areas. And when it comes to plastic snaps, you like to put the male end of the snap on the accessory and then the female end will be on the main area. So I put the male ends on the corner of the capes and then I put the female ends on the shoulders and then this cape also wraps around her hips. So I put some female ends at the hips. But other than that, this is the only alterations that I did on my daughter's costume. So if you have any other tips and tricks for costume alterations, please leave that in the comments below, um, especially around this time of year. Uh, I know that there's probably lots of parents who are out scrambling to get their kids costumes and you know, you end up at the store and there's only one more on the rack and it's not the right size and you're just like, oh well, we'll just make it work. So I totally, I'm right there with you, especially with that Bumblebee costume because there was not one in his size and it was one of those make it work situations. So of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you did that and like the video. Um, that really helps me out. And of course, hit that notification bell to be alerted of new and future tutorials. I do videos on Tuesdays and Fridays are always tutorials. I always have free tutorials, free patterns, things like that. I like to make things available for you guys. I don't like to charge just because you guys really do help me out with your pinning and your sharing and all those things help to fund my channel. So if I can help you guys out by giving you free patterns and tutorials, that is what I'm going to do. So pretty soon I'm going to show you a clip of my son and my daughter wearing her costume and his costume 
and how super cute they look. My son wasn't into it very much. He kind of was over the fact that he had to put on his costume again, but my daughter was really excited to see the different alterations that I've done for her on her costumes. So here is my son. <laughs> So as you can see, like you can see that now it actually fits at his hips nicely. So I'm really pleased with the way it looks. He looks so cute. <laughs> and that was the end of that. <laughs> um, this is my daughter and she's just, she just realized that I put snaps and she's so excited about that. And then I'm going to show you quickly how you can take that. And then I put it on her shoulders and she's like, what? This is so awesome. She's like, oh yes, I don't want it to fall off. <laughs> I love her so much. She's so cute. All right, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.